Hey, Tim Unkert here, and in this video, we're going to use C to create a worksheet of one-step equations, and we're going to create the solutions for those equations as well. We're going to use a little bit of pointers, and we're going to learn a little bit about C. It's a very basic program, um, but I think it'll be a cool exercise and a cool learning opportunity. So I'm going to bring up my text editor here, and I'm going to go to my directory, and I'll go to C programs here. And you notice I was practicing beforehand, of course. Uh, and so I'm going to create a new folder, though. Uh, let's call it one step uh, dash yt for YouTube. Okay, let's go into that folder, and let's create um, a file. And we'll call it one step.c because it's a C program. Okay, and let's get started. So uh, we're going to include um, time, the time header, and we're going to include a standard input output header, and we're going to include uh, this library header here. Okay, so we've got uh, a couple headers that we've got to include, and now we're going to start into our main function here. And in our main function, let me make this a little bigger. Okay, um, in our main function, we're going to use srand uh, and time null. Okay. And we're going to have three integers. We're going to have random num. Let's have random num two and an integer i because we're going to do a for loop. Okay. Now we're going to have a couple pointers here. So well, the first one call it fp. Second one we'll call it uh, fp two. So fp is going to be for file the first file which we write the actual problems to, and then the second one is going to be for the solutions, okay? And then we're going to open those files with f open, and I want to name my files, and it's going to create those in this directory. So one step.html, and then we're going to use the uh, append mode, and we'll also have fp2 uh, is going to equal f open. Um, and then we'll have one step and then SOL for solutions. Uh, and we're going to append to that file. Okay. All right. So now we're going to create our for loop and we're going to go through, create our random numbers, and then we're going to create our problems. Okay. So remember our problems that we're trying to create are something of the form X plus five equals seven. Obviously we want random numbers. But uh, basically, to solve that, uh, it would be we'd subtract five from both sides, so you really get x equals seven minus five, so x equals two. Okay, that's the type of problems I'm going to create. So let's get started. So we're going to create our for loop. We've already declared the integer i, so we can say i equals zero. i is less than 100 because I want to go from zero to 100, and I'm going to increment up by one each time through the loop, okay? And so I'm going to say random num is going to equal rand, uh, and then modulo 20 plus one, because I want numbers between one and 20. So that's what that's going to give me. I'm also going to do that for random number two. It's going to be rand uh, modulo 20 plus one, Okay, and then I'm going to start to now write to those files. So I'm going to say, uh, to do that, I'm going to say f print f, and we're going to write to this first file, fp. And remember, we're writing to an HTML file, so we want to write some HTML. So I'm going to say h3, and then problem, we're going to pass in an integer. So uh, percent %d, let's close our h3 tag. And let's uh, move down to the next line. So that's so the escape character N is. And then we'll say, uh, start a paragraph and say solve for X colon. And then X plus percentage D equals percentage D. And then 
a slash n to move to the next line. Uh, my font's really big. That's why we're going to wrap around the screen. Uh, I just want to make sure you can see it. Uh, so we're going to pass in for the first one. It's going to be I plus one is going to give us the problem number and then random num and then random num two. Okay. And then we're going to close that out with a semicolon. And then we're going to have F print F and we're going to print to uh, a second file, this time we're printing the solution. So we start with a heading three. You could do whatever heading you want. I'm just uh, using that for this particular worksheet. Um, and then percentage D because we're passing in an integer. And we'll close out the heading three and then slash N, move down to the next line. Oops, and then <laughs> if I can type, we're opening a parentheses and we're gonna say the solution. And then the solution is going to be just uh, another integer, which we're going to have the program calculate for us. We're going to pass in for our first integer, i plus 1. And for our second integer, random number 2 minus random number. Uh, because we subtract random number from both sides. It's like subtracting 5 from both sides in our original problem, x plus 5 equals 7. Okay, we're going to close, uh, we're going to put a semicolon there, and um, then we're going to move out of the for loop, and I'm going to close that first file, uh, and then close the second file, and this will return zero at the end of this. Okay, I'm going to save that, and now let's open up another window over here, move over here. Let's open, I'm using Emacs, I'm going to open eShell. And then we can build and run the program. So I'm on Linux, I'm going to use uh, GCC. And then let's just do the name of the file, and we're going to output, and let's just call our output one step. And we're good to go there. Now to run it, I'm going to do a dot slash and then one step. Okay, and it ran very quickly. Uh, and you'll see it created the one step.html file and the one step solution.html. All right, I'm going to exit out of this and we'll get back to one window and then open up the HTML file. And you'll see we have the uh, heading three and then uh, the problem below it, okay? And if we go to the bottom of the file here, you'll see we have 100 problems. We start from one and we go to 100. Okay, so now what I wanna do is just create a little bit of styling within the head of the document. Uh, so what I'm gonna go up here is let's have uh, a car set, character set equal to UTF-8. And let's also have uh, uh, viewport, oops. And for this, we'll say content equals width equals device width initial scale equals 1.0. Okay, I got my light, the light in my eyes there. All right, and let's, just for fun, let's create a title. Let me, actually, let me make this a little bit bigger for you, so. Okay, title is going to be One Step Equations, something like that. Uh, and then we'll put some style in there. Okay, we'll say the body. Let's just say we have, uh, let's tab this in. Max width of, it's not wanting to tab, 800 pixels, margin left of auto, margin right of auto, and let's go here, let's do head th heading three, let's give it a padding of 20 pixels. You know, this is a, just what I'm gonna style, basic styling for this worksheet, and the paragraph with a padding of 15 pixels. I'm using Emacs, the indentation on this is a little, little odd there. Um, now that I've closed my styling, it, it's kind of going, oh, okay. So I probably should have closed it first because it made it look nice there. All right, and so that's the head. And then we obviously want the body to be next. But the cool thing about this is we've created those 100 problems. So um, that's the great part. Uh, oh, we didn't, 
write a paragraph at the end of these. Ooh. Okay, I forgot a paragraph in the program. So what am I going to do? Oh, uh, well, okay. I could run the program again and modify it, but I think what I'll do is I'll do a macro. So I'm going to do um, F3, which on a Chromebook is just the search button and then the third button on top after the escape. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to the end of this line, so Control E, and then uh, close out the parentheses. I'm going to go then down two lines, and then, um, I mean, technically we're going to the end of the line, so I really don't have to go to the beginning, but I will. Uh, I'm going to end the macro with F4. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Control U, and I want to do that 99 more times. So I'm going to do Control U, and then 99, and then F4. Okay, and it's going to go ahead and do that, and boom, it just did it. All right, so that's the power of macros. I didn't really mean to do that, but hey, I left out the closing paragraph. We got to close the paragraph, or otherwise it would be kind of messy. All right, let's let's take a look and see how this looks, and then we'll see if we want to make it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to go to my C programs here, one step, YouTube. Let's open this file in the browser. And you see we start with problem one. We say solve for x, x plus 5 equals uh, 18, and so on and so forth. And we go down with 100 problems. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, now, a few things that I would do before I put this up on Teacher Pay Teachers, which I will. Uh, and those are just to go right here at the top of the body. And let's um, have a name, place for your name. And we'll put these within paragraph tags. And here, let's have a place for the date. And uh, let's close that out. And now let's save it. And then let's go to the bottom of the file. And now at the bottom of the file, I'm going to just have a paragraph with a style equal to text align center and um, then I'm just going to say something like copyright do the copyright symbol in HTML 2021 Timothy Unkert and I'm going to say something like all rights reserved and then close out my paragraph tag hit control X control S and then I'm going to refresh okay and so I've written this in C. Now, if I want to make this a worksheet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to print. Okay. Um, typically, you'll have to turn off this headers and footers. I have already turned it off. But if I didn't turn it off, you'll see that it has the little uh, header and footer, which you don't want in this case. Okay. So we go down, we look. This looks like a good PDF for me. I'm going to save it. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the solutions file. Um, I'll just save it here. And then I'm going to package those and put those up on Teacher Pay Teachers for a dollar. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. It really does help the channel grow. You can also support my work by following me on GitHub and perhaps giving me a star there. Or if you want to monetarily support the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, I'll leave a link to the Teacher Pay Teachers worksheet that I put up for this video. Oh, also, one last thing. Um, you may have seen in a previous video that I came out with this morning that I am going to be testing uh, a just plain HTML blog. And I'm going to write a blog to go along with this video on the process of creating a worksheet in C. Uh, and I want to see how many people I get coming to that blog within a certain amount of time. So it's a little test, a little experiment. But I will put the link to the blog in the description below so you can check that out as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I hope you really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making it. So I hope to see you in the next one.